everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Cartier Fragrance. I'm Carissa. I'm Tierney. And that was the second time that we've recorded this, but I just realized that I forgot to tell people that are new to our channel. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We are still growing. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day or night or early morning to watch our videos. Um, I am her mom, so I I think in the past I have forgotten to like actually tell people that, but maybe we're like... In the first video you didn't. Yeah, but if people are like, just happen to click on one of our random videos, mm -hmm. not the very first one, they might not know what's going on. Okay, so this video is going to be pretty short. It's not going to be super long. Um, we're going to talk about a layering combo that I have been doing this week that I've been loving. And Tierney has a beauty product to share with you that's good for all ages. I would say mostly women, but probably some men if they want to have sure. bigger lips, I guess. Okay. So we're going to start with my layering combo of the week that I feel like was very nice. Um, here in Pennsylvania, we've been having temperatures that are either a little bit chilly and then we've had some like warm days, which I'm actually pretty annoyed about. I want it to be fall and like have chilly, blustery winds and it's just been a little bit of everything, but I always forget that's how PA is. Okay, so my layering combo has been Aaron Terrence Hughes Onyx see that? with Tom Ford Noir Extreme Body Spray. So of course this is like a very bougie body spray because it's not for Bath and Body Works, but those are pretty good too if you're just looking for a body spray. But this one's nice because it has notes of kofi, which is an Indian ice cream dessert. And there's also vanilla, there is, I believe, citrus in the top. And I just feel like it gives us overall, sorry, it's like musky, it's like kind of dark, it's sweet, it smells kind of elegant. Yeah. It's yeah, it's I think it's kind of classy. And then, so when you layer that with, let's do that, spray that. Layer that with Onyx by Aaron Terrence Hughes, which is, oh, I just love it. So this is very deep and dark. It has a jammy rose in it. There's plum. There is, it almost smells like chocolates in this, but I don't know if that's listed. If you guys um, don't follow her, you can give Clemence CC Fragrance a follow. She talks about this brand a lot, Aaron Terrence Hughes, and I think she's actually filmed a couple videos with him. I just think it's like, it's sexy and like a rose gourmand way. It almost, yeah, I just feel like it smells like chocolate. What do you think? Yeah, I'm not really a big, and you know what? It smells like honey to me, and I really oh, hate honey. honey. Yeah, you're not a big fan. I hate honey. Of honey and fragrance. So it smells so. like honey to me a little bit, which is what's kind of throwing me away from it. Really? I feel like this is like it's, a girl that's like walking well done, around. Okay. But I don't like it. Okay. I feel like this is a girl that's like walking around and she does not want to be bothered. And there's like an air of like sophistication, elegance, and like a little bit of edginess to her. So. I know there's been a, a lot of like YouTube videos going around that are like that girl, that girl perfume, and I'm like, hmm. <gasps> I think it's a little cringy because it's sort of like the pick me girl, but huh. maybe not the same definition. It's like, oh, if you're that girl, I'm that girl. I'm like, we're all that girl. Come on, knock it off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it is Onyx layered with Tom Ford Noir Extreme together. They work very good. The other thing is if you ever just wanted to wear this by itself, it just smells beautiful, but then it fades if you're you know interested in wearing a different fragrance later that night or a few hours later. All right, so the other thing I thought I would talk about were the two other fragrances that I wore this week, um, one of which being Petra, which I only have a sample of, but I definitely would buy a full-size bottle. So it's Petra Fry from <laughs> Mosque Milano and Fefe. Sorry, we have one of the dogs out here. She's licking, which is, this is not <laughs> ASMR licking. <laughs> I actually enjoy some of that at nighttime, but not licking ASMR, just regular ASMR if I'm like feeling mentally. Does anyone overwhelmed. else, this is, I need to get this out. Okay, go ahead. Does anyone else remember the Pied Piper ASMR? <laughs> I'm the only no. one who remembers this. I literally one day, I, it's had to have been like two or three years ago. I come out to the living room and I see like Newswatch 16, like whatever, the, like the local news. I don't even know what it was. Okay. It was like the inside edition, which is like the fun stories that they do. Like after like the real news is done, they do like these little stupid stories. On our, cha our, our yeah. channel 16? Okay. Oh, inside edition. I thought or you said that. I don't know what that is. Anyway, it's it like matter. TMZ, but like yeah. that is trash. So I walk out and they're like reports of a man that they're calling ASMR Pied Piper. And of course I sat down because I was like, what? And so he was. I swear I didn't make this up. It would be so embarrassing if I did. So they were like, she's like, it was actually when I had that one like, fever. It was a fever dream. They were like, he's hypnotizing people, and they're he's leading them to his van with his ASMR. Watch it. Keep your keep really? your, keep on the lookout for your. Kids. I'm gonna Google this after we get no, off. No, I I'm tried, and there was nothing. Oh man, like there was no article about Comment this. Comment down below. Paper, but I remember it happening. Yes. He was like, well, I couldn't make this. Why, why would I make this up? If you don't, I like know this, what happened. If you don't like the story, hit the dislike button. If you like the story, hit the like button. And if you Ooh. have your own story, comment down below. Do something. I know what hit a happened. button. Comment. Do something. To I need video. someone else to have heard the okay. story. It was 
So let's get back to Petra. Okay, so one of my favorite perfumers is Cecile Zerokian. She's one of my favorite perfumers. And Petra, I just love it. I think I'm kind of kicking myself because I've had this sample for a year. I was going to buy a full-size bottle. I mean, you guys can probably understand, right? Like, you have all these, like, lists of, like, full-size bottles that you want. You don't like that? It's pink pepper, rose. Smells like crackers to me. <laughs> <laughs> crackers? No. It's like rose. There's patchouli, ambergris. I wonder if they the smell ambergris. like triscuits. The ambergris is probably giving triscuits. you the salty. Triscuits. Do you remember those? Mm, it's I like a, a yummy, well peppery nose. triscuit. She has a okay mm, trained nose. It smells like triscuits. I don't get Trisk. I get the pink mm. pepper. There's like sweet notes because it's like, you know, very generic on for Grantica. Even though I shouldn't have checked for Grantica because a lot of times they are wrong with their notes. But I think it's so good. It's like a little bit deep, but there's like a lightness and an airiness to it. Uh, pink pepper. No. Of course, it's like, what are we at? We're five minutes and it's time for you to yawn. I yawned earlier, actually. You missed it. I didn't. I was. Um, I saw you. I just was ignoring you. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm Petra tired. to me. Petra's nice. I like it because... I feel like it's good to wear in that weird time of fall where it's like not really snowing and windy and super cold yet. It's a little bit warm. I think it's very like fresh and aromatic, but then there's like a deepness to it, okay? So I love this. I think it's very good and I should have bought a, a full size bottle, but I did not. Okay, so finally, the last perfume that I'm gonna talk about, I actually, this is so funny because I bought a sample kit of this house from my, one of my favorite houses to buy from Ariel Shoshana. Okay, well, it's kind of a house and a business. Yeah. Anyways, so I bought this kit and I didn't hate every single set but I kind of hated every single set I thought they were all very boring and I was really very disappointed because I had heard many good things about it and that would be Ellis Brooklyn so this one's called myth okay and so I think one of my favorites was actually the rose but it's like rose rose it's like two R's and then a rose I don't know it's very weird and so I thought they were very simple but you know what sometimes you just want something simple no fuss you're just it's very linear it's like mm -hmm. fresh and clean so myth to me is that. I actually got this from my friend Kelly. She sent this to me. So thank you, Kelly, if you're watching. That Smells Divine is her channel. Go give her a follow. She does some really good videos, and she's growing so fast. I'm so proud of her. Um, we have become fast friends, so I'm excited about that. But this is Ambrette. It's just fresh and clean. Ambrette. Oh, jeez. You smell that? I literally cannot smell. Ambrette. Oh, my gosh. Why can't I can't remember any of the notes. Um, you don't like it? Of course, yeah, musk, it is that's boring. like white cedar. It's boring. It's not, It's. I think it's done nice. It's not going to be one of the better musks that's out there, but I feel like what's in my house, I thought this was nice a couple times this week yeah. because it's just fresh, light, and clean. I was wearing some heavy hitters, so this was mm -hmm. like a nice break from heavy hitters. And it's. I think it's pretty affordable. I think it's like okay. 135 for 100 ml. I don't know. I don't want to misquote that. But So those were our fragrances for the week. What did you wear this week? Man... I don't remember. This week was a blur. By the fireplace. Too much partying. I have such a cool <laughs> life. I don't remember anything. You were by the fireplace. And what about your black open? Did you wear that at all? No. No? Okay. Well, that's okay. We are going to well, the city on... Oh. once. And then I also wore that, like, Nirvana perfume. Oh, you want to talk about that? Yeah. Sure. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad. It's actually in the bedroom, but you can talk about it. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah, I took it in there. Okay. Maybe I'm biased because of the name being Nirvana and I like the band Nirvana, but I think I also really like it because it's like a masculine scent, but it's unique to me. I think it's French Grey Nirvana. Nirvana French Grey. Yeah, because there are notes of um, lavender that I smell a lot, especially on my skin. It picks up a lot of lavender, but it's not in like a sweet lavender. It's in like a very like raw, kind of like musky lavender. And it's like I herbal. Really enjoy. Isn't it like herbal and green? Yeah, and it's yeah. it's very like earthy and I really like earthy scents that are like kind of dirty smelling and that kind of is like in that category. Oh, you think a that's dirty? I think Not it's... like dirty, but it definitely has like yeah. a hippie smell almost. Like so actual like, dirt. Like rustic. Oh, okay. oh I, I can see that. I like that. Okay. So I think that is our video except for a few beauty, blah, blah, beauty <laughs> products that we're going to talk about. So this we sell at work and it's called Hey Sugar by NCLA Beauty. I did pick this up from work. Um, it is pink grapefruit, but we have scents such as cucumber, peach, island coconut, or coconut and vanilla. Mm, you should have that one. I love this. I love pink grapefruit. I love okay, vanilla so, and coconut. Oh, it's like so fresh. So it's, uh, you know, it's... I'm not a huge fan of citrus. Very sad for it. So there's this one perfume that I'm going to, that I'm trying to find on eBay and I'm going to put it in my cart. I'm going to buy it in the spring. It is Yves Saint Laurent's Baby Doll. Does anybody remember that fragrance? Please comment down below if you remember Baby Doll. It always had pink grapefruit and I thought I had pink grapefruit I'm gonna check but it's like citrusy it's bright there's like a fresh floral and I just love the smell of it it came out like 2000 so I'm gonna look for that but yeah this is great it's actually one of the better exfoliating sugar scrubs that I've ever bought I just feel like your skin is actually soft and moisturized afterwards so I'm not sure what's in there 
but we have different scents and I feel like it's fabulous for this time of year when we are going from summer, fall, and then winter, your skin's gonna get more dry, so you wanna get off those dead skin cells. And then my final beauty product is very simple. Water, don't forget to drink water. I think I forget water all the time because I'm in a hurry. I'm I, drinking lots of caffeine and monster energy drinks, and I'm like, I need water. So it's better for your skin. Your skin will hold on to fragrance I better. I had the best kick of drinking water. It was like, <laughs> it was last year. No joke. I was drinking 84 ounces of water. Wow, that's great. Like I was drinking. I was drinking. No joke. I was drinking four of these that's every crazy. day for like no joke, man. Like eight months straight. I'm gonna wear no this. joke. I'm gonna wear eight months today. straight. And it was because I traumatized myself because I threw up from dehydration, I'm assuming. Because I Probably. wasn't drinking water. And then. You get so dehydrated as a, then, as a young child. And like last dehydrated. year, not even a young child, last this year. And then from that, I was like, that's never happening again. So I like drank water because <laughs> I was so horrified. I just drank so much water. But now I didn't drink water like for a week, maybe. Like, well, that's not true. Obviously, I drink water. But like maybe like a little, little splash. A little, bit, a little, a little splash here and there. Just until I really like feel my body start to like deteriorize. Like, wow. Maybe deteriorize. You just made up a word. I'm deteriorate. Deteriorate. There okay. It is. So that is our video today. Wait, Teresa's going to talk about her beauty product. But before one. she does that, please tell us in the comments below not only what your scent of the day is, but what new fall or winter launch from a fragrance house is coming up that you want to try and, and then we can try to get it too. And tell me you remember the Pied Piper. Even if you don't, just lie yes. to me. Just make me feel better. And okay, go. Go, wow. child. Go. Your hand's probably going to start burning. Oh, do you have that? Okay, go ahead. Tell okay, me. Okay, so tell this them. stuff is not for the faint of heart. It's Too Faced. It's Too Faced lip injections. A lot of you have probably heard of it, but this is maximum plump. So it's just a little one because it's really expensive. This was $18 for like a rip off, but it works well. <laughs> so maybe it's not too much of a rip off. But point being, it hurts. I'll put it on and show the camera. How, oh, how, how, show okay. the camera, show the people out so there. So I'm already wearing it. I put it on a little bit earlier. It burns really intensely, like really pretty bad for like five minutes and then it goes away. But it's like, it's- Girlfriend, get closer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's glossy, as you can see, uh, and, and it, there's like pink sheen to it. There, it's pink. There's like a slight like glisten like to it. Yeah, yeah, it kind of looks like my nails, actually. Mm, cute. Mm -hmm. But um, oh, also, I don't know if this is just me being like weird, but it makes me drool a little bit. Like it makes, I don't know. My friends not said, like mouth watering fruity fragrance. No, like, like literally, no, like literally, like my mouth. Her. Like I like. Yeah. I don't know. My friend I said don't. that it does the same thing to her. It doesn't matter. So right maybe now, but we're it like a different you. breed. Yeah. Well, I guess that's it, y'all. Have a good day. Don't forget to comment below, and we will be launching another video on Sunix. We're trying to do like two weeks. Trying to keep up yeah. with this. All right. Bye.